Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you doing today? Now, what I'm about to explain and go through today is a horrible, 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 disgusting atrocity that has taken place in uh, Croydon, which is South London. Now, I'm from the UK. I wanted to get your guys' opinions, though, because let me know what you think about this, because we're going to go into a bit of, well, what happened, but also the aftermath, what people are blaming, etc., etc., etc. But to sum it up, ABC News, as well as many other news places, are reporting a 15-year-old girl has been stabbed to death in South London by by a 17 year old male um, who has been arrested. Now on the street is, um, she was on her way to school uh, and apparently, so it happened at 8.30 in the morning and apparently the 17 year old suspect and brought the knife, obviously people, the first aiders responded, tried doing the best they can, CPR, got her to the hospital but unfortunately her wounds were so bad she could not survive. Police are, are there at the scene who are, you know, finding evidence, finding out what it was about. It is such a senseless murder that y you've got to you got to ask the questions why now i'm going to show you a quick video now just to give you a bit of a background a bit of a backstop okay so check it emergency services were called to wellesley road at around half past eight this morning the girl was treated by air ambulance medics but died a short time later well the area on wellesley road has been cordoned off and police remain on the scene live to croydon uh, rachel venables is there for us rachel what's the latest well, this is very much still a live crime scene uh, with police, as you can see behind me, working away to try and gather as much evidence as possible to try and work out what happened here at 8.30 this morning when a 15-year-old girl was stabbed to death. In the past few minutes, we've all been made to move further away across the road. You'll be able to see possibly in the background uh, police with sniffer dogs coming in and out. They've been searching the undergrowth. And we've also just seen the arrival of forensic teams as well, fully in their protective gear as they approach the scene where this 15-year-old girl died. We know she died of her injuries some 50 minutes after she was stabbed at around half past state so in the middle of rush hour on what is a very busy road running through the heart of Croydon we understand she was on her way to school I've just been speaking to people who arrived at the scene soon afterwards they talk about her friends having been in utter horror and distress having to be almost held back as paramedics tried to save this young girl's life but they were unsuccessful now we also know that a teenage boy has been arrested as well by police in connection with this we've had a statement through from the Metropolitan Police saying that acting on information provided to them, officers worked closely with colleagues from across the Met and the British Transport Police to track a teenager in connection with the stabbing. They confirmed that an arrest was made at around 9.45 this morning in the Croydon area. They say at this stage, we believe that he may have known her. Now, this is an absolute disgrace. I'm sure you're, you know, you don't need me to tell you that. The question is what happened? Why? A 15-year-old girl has died in South Croydon and a 17 year old is the first suspect now just to clarify this person has been arrested on suspicion not confirmed however you like to think that this is probably the person who did it so what is the reason behind it the 17 year old obviously know her maybe really liked her who knows in what way and apparently tried now this is again all talk i've read it a couple times there's no confirmation so apparently the girl was repeatedly stabbed outside the bus after the attacker produced a knife from his pocket in a dispute over a bag. Over a bag. So a 17-year-old stabbed a 15-year-old girl over a bag. This is the problem with the world we live in. People have seen too many v films, too many video games, and they're now thinking that it's okay to carry around weapons. Now, how, how do you stop this? Look, in America, they have guns. In the UK, people use knives. I think I'd rather be shot than stabbed because stabbing is just cowardly. A lot of people are actually blaming people like Andrew Tate for this, who obviously, uh, just to clarify i don't really know too much about andrew tate however i understand some of his views are quite misogynistic he is all about the male and the male succeeding in life being dependent being strong and you know providing for family a lot of people are blaming um him like on twitter here this is the byproduct of misogynistic attitude people like andrew tate so a lot of people follow this guy religiously now he obviously doesn't promote violence anything like that i know he's an mma fighter but that he, he just doesn't not a big fan of andrew 
Andrew Tate. Uh, I don't like him. I don't hate him, though. Uh, I think, just like everyone, he's got opinions that he shares on the internet, like I am doing now. But I think people, the problem is people take these people to heart. They think they're inspirations. They pe- think they are people to look up to and to inspire to be. Andrew Tate wouldn't stab anyone, though. So that's my question. How? Why do people think it's Andrew Tate? I know he obviously believes in some misogynistic views. Uh, he's in a case himself over rape and uh, human trafficking, which if found guilty, he should be punished by the acts of maximum sentence. However, stuff there st- seems a bit stinky to me. Not because I don't believe it could be true, but the fact it's taken so long, they've released him, everything he stands for, it's sort of like taking a flip of a coin and change. Now, this poor 15-year-old girl, why was he carrying a knife? Was it to do with Andrew Tate? I don't believe so, no. I believe this is the type of environment we're creating. London is a very nasty place in some places. I hate London, not just because I'm from the north, fuck London, fuck the south, it's nothing like that. It's simply because it's full of crime. There is so many bad people down there. There's a lot of poverty and a lot of poorer areas down there, just like there are everywhere in the world. However, there's more of them. Now, the police are shite at their jobs and these people are getting away with things. So he might have known people in his neighbourhood, in his area, who carry knives, carry weapons around because they are drug dealers or because they hang out with certain crowds that could be dangerous. He doesn't hang out with this and he thinks it's okay to do this. He's then got annoyed. Who knows what he's thinking? He's probably a bit mentally deranged. He probably smokes a bit of fucking weed or something. I don't know. All that weed makes you like that, to be honest, does it? Let's all be honest. He probably is doing some other spices or something like that. Truly do struggle to understand what people think when they think this is okay. Do not carry knives. Violence is not the answer. If you want to fall out with someone, use your fist. Stop being a little pussy. Punch them, man. Punch them. Bite. Use your fist. Don't kill anyone. You know, knives are so it's sudden. They're slow. Like the Joker said, they're slow. They're painful. They take a long time. Fists, you get it over with. There's a winner. You hurt someone. You move on and you forget about it, all right? I truly, I truly feel sadness today. I'm not just saying that. How? Because this isn't the first child who's died, by the way, but knives. This isn't the first crime that's happened with young people in London or in the in the UK. What is the next steps? I think there needs to be a massive reform. There needs to be education. People, some idiots will blame video games and films. And like I said, I mentioned that earlier, but that's not to blame. You get people like this anyway in life, naturally. Nothing that they do should be, you know, copied. You get some people who are just like that. I, I watch so many violent films and play so many video games. I don't go around with a Glock shooting people. I don't get my karambic Doppler out and start flipping it around the place, although I'd love to. I know that's normal. It's not normal. I know that's not normal. These kids need educating better. The school system, right down to the parents, they all need to tell these children that violence is something that we all feel inside. It's human nature. We used to fight people. We used to fight for our lives, fight for survival, fight animals. It's normal to have these feelings. However, it's not normal to use weapons in a society. And over a bag, over a bag, someone's lost their life over a bag. It is just horrific. I, I, I mean, let me know what you guys think down below. This is just a shocking story and something that needs to stop and oh, it needs to stop. Well, think of a solution. Fuck off. It's not my job to come up with a solution. I'm just here just to tell everyone how shit they are at their jobs. The government, the police, everyone involved. There needs to be educating, reform, start from the bottom, have a massive exodus of people in power because we need change and we need it now, ladies and gentlemen. Instead of guns, we have knives and the problem is are just, you know, people walk around with machetes in their bags, hidden in their coats, hiding them because that's the type of weaponry other people have. If we stop it and get rid of them, then we come to a solution, hey? Anyway, please, it's a very sad story, so keep it respectful. Uh, I hope the family and everyone involved is getting the proper treatment and help they need. I hope this 17-year-old, personally, I think he should be named and shamed, absolutely. I know he won't be because he's under an age. I, I don't believe in that. This person has taken someone's life, ruined so many lives around him. Children who were friends with her are going to be traumatised for years and years to come. This guy deserves prison and nothing else. Not 25 years. He deserves a life of 90 years. Cheers, guys.